This morning, after spending a long winter inside, your home could be a little dirty. Maybe. But now it's March. It's time to start thinking about doing some mm -hmm. spring cleaning. And that's why 7 and 4's Brett Cass spent some time with a local cleaning company. Brett joins us now live right here in the studio. Brett, what did you find out? Uh, well, Tom, I found out that spring cleaning is much more thorough and much more in depth than you might think. So to see what separates the professionals from the rest of us, I met with At Your Service Cleaning in Traverse City to find the top three most neglected spots in your home. You don't quite see sunny skies and blooming trees just yet, but believe it or not, spring is less than a month away, which means businesses such as At Your Service Cleaning are hard at work. Just the essence of spring, people are you know, think about cleaning more. After spending months inside for the winter, spring is the perfect time for a deep clean. And manager Sarah Peterson has a few tips starting with what's right in front of you. I think since people, you know, walk by their walls every day, they don't notice if there's marks all over them, especially baseboards, like those can get really dusty and filthy. Peterson so says one of the bad. main parts of a spring clean is taking care of the walls. And Peterson suggests yeah, using erasers. something called a magic eraser. Like, that was the best thing to use would be a magic eraser because they'll get it off and um, it won't take up the paint. Another often neglected area to clean is furniture, especially inside couch cushions. And vacuum underneath there. So I guess the little handheld vacuums would work too, you know. And last but not least, something that remains shut all winter long, the windows. The tracks definitely get very dirty. So it's good to make sure to clean those out every once in a while. And springtime is a perfect time to do it. But no matter what time of year, Peterson says the importance of having a clean home is unmatched. Well, I love having a clean home. Just, I don't know, makes you feel better. Now, another often neglected spot they're talking about is your oven. Many people don't clean out their oven, and that's mm -hmm. something they do for spring cleaning. So have you guys gotten your spring cleaning started, too? Uh, I mean, I haven't. You know, I did work on cleaning the garage a couple Ooh, of weeks ago you when, did it, mention when it was that. warm. When it was right? warm, yeah. right. Yeah, uh, but yeah. the house, I usually wait till I can actually open the windows yeah. and air everything. Yeah, down. sure. So probably a couple of weeks away from there. My big thing that I struggle with all the time, I am notorious for cramming too much into closets. Okay, and uh, yeah. my bedroom so closet is a mess. You're cleaning of all organizing then as Organizing well. yeah. big time, yes. Okay. I like to constantly keep things neat and tidy, but I need to organize the closets better. I struggle with that. So this is something that I, I should take your advice with yeah. this report. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And that's Plus. good. Spring cleaning means warm weather, right? Uh, right. Exactly. It's a so positive. It's all a good thing. Yes. It might be a month away or so, but you know. We'll get there, right? <laughs> nice job, Brad. Good Thanks, stuff. Brad.